Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am back with another reading for the new moon in Scorpio, which we'll have in November, November 1st. So, uh, Scorpios, very intense. Whether they're happy, whether they're angry, no matter what the emotion, it's intense. It also, Scorpions represent uh, transformation and rebirth. So, Whatever we have been experiencing these last few days, even with the super full moon that we just had and these eclipses, we're still in that energy. They last anywhere between six months, possibly depending on the transformation a year. And um, what we're experiencing now, the beginning of November, the month, are um, intense changes collectively. So with all that being said, I'm going to start with my Moonology card and see what is the message for the element of earth which are my virgos my taurus and my capricorn uh people so let's see what's going on with my earth signs my taurus my virgos and the capricorns for this new moon in scorpio thank you adjustments are required a win-win forecast uh, outcome is forecasted and communication is key. So with that, I would say that because of these um, intense times, we are making a lot of adjustments. And if you haven't, I would suggest that you do um, sooner than later because you guys have uh, a winning outcome if, if you make those adjustments. And also if you get, which most earth signs are, strategic, organized, planning, in details. So all of that should be done before you start communicating. I feel a lot publicly or within your family and community that Taurus, or I said Taurus, so that could, that could mean something, have lots to say that maybe they haven't said. And this is the time to make adjustments so that you can communicate in a way that is clear and effective. Dip, digging in a little bit deeper now, I'm going to pull three cards um, for to dive into my Moonology information here for the Taurus, the Virgos, and the Capricorns. Please and thank you. Oh, yes. All right, my earth signs. So I do see some victory here. I do see new opportunities here. I do see money, independence. We got the Empress card and the success, the Six of Wands. So with these adjustments that you make, another confirmation of a win-win is outcome is forecasted. Um, that definitely confirms what I laid out first, that... If you make these adjustments and you communicate clearly and you embody all of the queens or, you know, it's not gender specific or all of the keen behavior, which means you have matured through your experiences to become an empress or an emperor, um, that, you, that you're winning. Um, but it is calling for you to uh, be vocal, to, to communicate your plan to, with details so that everybody feels like they can be on board. And um, you have success. Something tells me that you have been quiet for a long time or um, working quietly by yourself independently so that um, this could be the time that you become, I don't know, public with the information that you have been quiet about. Any more information for my Taurus, my Virgos, and my copies it's going to take a lot of strength and it's going to take it take you back to um whatever it is that you've been quiet quiet about in the last i want to say six to eight months possibly a year you've been studying you have been taking a lot of information in and it seems that you were stuck for a hot minute with um the information and moving forward with it but now it seems like a really good time to to let it out all right, that's that. I'm going to pull from my chakra cards just one more message for my Taurus, my Capricorns, 
and my Virgos. One more card, one more message. Make a takeaway for this month, the new moon inspiration. So you've been inspired. You've been inspired. You have lots of ideas. You, you're you just like with ideas, creativity, um, opportunities, people, groups. Um, so it's a great time now that whatever ideas you had and inspiration you've had to start new this this again is confirmation that if you do and you make those adjustments you will have a successful outcome both those cards confirm that all right that was the message for my earth signs now we're going to move on to my water signs my water signs are my cancers my um Scorpios, it's your time, this is your season, and my Pisces, my Pisceans. All right, we're going to start with my moon deck first, since we are doing this for the new moon energy in Scorpio. Happy birthday, Scorpios. I have a lot of Scorpios in my birth chart, Scorpion placements. My, my Venus, my Mercury, my Mars, I have a lot of Scorpio on my chart, which I have to say I, I love. All right, so... My daughter's a Scorpio. Intense, but oh my God, so loyal and so um, smart, so strong. Anyway, here we go. For my Cancers, ooh, excuse me, let me get these. Uh, okay. A new start is coming. Adjustments are required. Again, and I shuffled. And a win-win forecast. I don't know. I feel like I shuffled and those two cards came out again. So let me just intuitively pull out one more for you guys that wanted to come out. So I'm going to take it. What do you need to release? So Scorpios, your intensity is requiring you to make adjustments and release something. So check your emotions. Maybe your emotions are super high and, you know, you're like, um, absorbing other people's energies you're you're taking it with you when you uh, need to adjust not to um regardless a new start is coming so do you want to take on all of those emotions with you or do you want to take that lesson release it and move on because again there's that card a win-win outcome is forecast which is is a beautiful thing i feel like my cancers my scorpios and my pisceans especially my cancers i feel like legal troubles even scorpios legal troubles or legal legal situations have had them tied up for a long time or they found themselves in legal situations where they were just like i thought i would have never expect expected this and now here i am having to to deal with this and you had to lawyer up or you something happened where there was a lot wow these cards want to come out um you had to work extra hard and um every time you felt like you had a winning it disappeared you know that's 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 the energy that i'm getting with scorpio as well pisces um pisces being one of the most intuitive signs of the zodiacs um zodiac signs they definitely um have not been as mm, scorpio it came up in your read four of cups withholding so it looks like you've had to take extra caution with work projects what you thought was one way for years all of a sudden has revealed itself to be the complete opposite had to die it had to end you had to with we you had to um cover your energy you had to withdraw you had to take a step back you had to make adjustments and they were difficult i could i could see it i could feel it um a lot of water signs, you know, because it is the element of water, have challenges with getting to work 
about shutting down the emotion and getting to work, withholding their emotions, getting to work. There's a constant battle between the two. And we're not even talking personal relationships here. We're just talking money, rebirth, holding off, starting new. Like, <laughs> we're not even talking personal relationships here. But, you know, take what resonates, take what sounds familiar to you and, and, and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, ooh, a tower card that wanted to fall out and it did and here it is so tower cards you know tower moments don't always have to be bad especially with what lays next to it and what i pulled next to it is the knight of swords which is you know someone that can help with getting yourself or finding the words or um getting the resources or the clarity in order for you to resolve some sort of financial issue um, taking small steps, taking, um, you know, taking small actions. Like, I feel like something hit water signs so much that they doubted their own experiences and knowledge. Like, you were thrown off your feet for so long with some information that you shut down so much that now it's kind of like this fear of moving forward but also knowing you have to you don't have a choice but so what then you do you do you take baby steps you take actions small actions every day to get back on that horse and move forward you've been in your mind a lot a lot of it is you just even creating the worst scenarios in your mind before it even happens you know so again my water signs are definitely, you know, turning the page slowly, thinking that things were going to move faster and more in your favor in the past, and you realize that it hasn't. I'm going to pull one more card and move on to your message for the month. I saw this card at the bottom, and I shuffled it, and it came out. It's the page. You got a lot of pages here, which are new beginnings, which are you know the beginning of a project beginning of taking baby steps towards your 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 goals reinventing your creative projects reinventing you know how you did business before um it feels like you've had to let a lot of things go and you and you're still in that energy especially under this um energy of the new moon what do you need to release? What what needs to die in order for you to come back? What's the rebirth? What's you know what's the plan? And if you have a plan, start taking the baby steps, making the baby you know the the small steps every single day to get back on and be the emperor that you know yourself to be, which is again all of the elements: the earth, the fire, the water, the air, to to conjure up. A new plan a new way of of how you're going to go into 2025 you know for example if you haven't been so straight forward with your relationships in your personal life you know it's time to stop being stubborn and speak up and ask for what you want and if you don't know what you want then you know take the time you need there shouldn't be a timeline on healing unfortunately you know life doesn't give us that much time or that much, that many breaks you got to figure things out along the way but i feel like at the end of this month close nearing the end of the year it would be wise to make adjustments do the small steps and figure out what you need to release and once you release that it's over that part of of your life whether it be the money part how you go about your creative efforts and your finances it's it's part of the past now the last message for my water signs my cancer scorpio and pisces have faith and intuition um you know support is with you guys you know my water signs are um so intuitive always guided if you keep strong in your faith because the strength card also came up in in the other deck um if you consistently just stay strong in your faith and listen to your intuition you will be directed on what you need to release 
in order to have the success that's coming okay that was my water sign i hope that helped and now on to my fire my fire signs are my aries leos and sagittarius so let's move on to that these are quick reads if you guys want a personal reading please uh check out the link below to book with me now let's start with please like share subscribe all the good stuff all the things that help with my channel all right now this is my leo my aries my leo and my sagis okay what do we got going on for the new moon in scorpio my aries my leos and my sagittarians Whoa. believe in the impossible a new start is coming i feel that confidence is the key to success and work through your fears so um my fire signs i feel like out of all the zodiac and elements i feel the most shifts happening within my fire signs big ideas um coming to life finally um end of a cycle is is approaching and a new beginning a new start is definitely coming and here it says a new start is coming under the new moon so it could very well be in the month of november that things start to get more chill um considering collectively we are in the united states going through an election and it's a very intense time i'm not going to talk about that i'm just going to talk about the energies of the new moon in scorpio but it does contribute to the the the, the energies of what's going on in, in 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 our world um confidence is key to success work through your fears you know that's a big one obviously um working <laughs> working through your fears is new moon and scorpio so that means putting to rest the fears so that this is new moon in leo you can come out shining you can come out being the true authentic self that you are through this energy you know scorpions are um not afraid or even if they are afraid they go through that let me blow this shit up so that we can start from the ashes up you know um this is also a time i feel with the readings personal readings that i have done the connecting thread there is an ending that has been going on for 10 to 30 years and a whole new beginning which can be kind of scary because it's like putting on or doing something you've never done before based upon experiences in the past you know sometimes you tend to slip up and go to the past and 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 forget the lesson you know and, and then end up repeating the cycle but this feels very much like nope it's been too long repeating the same patterns repeating the same hard lessons and struggles and now it's time to step into something so new that you know it is first card out the emperor i love the emperor the wheel of fortune yes 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 and yes after having a period of being <laughs> saggies you got love coming because this is my sagittarius card my temperance card and then the lovers after that i have felt too for a long time that my fire signs have been struggling and you know, the Ten of Swords is interesting because it tells a story of the obvious, but swords are thoughts. So a lot of the times it's not so much everybody else, it's yourself, your own mental exhaustion, things that you think of obsessively and now you physically can't move. That's one way that I look at the Ten of Swords. Another way that I look at the Ten of Swords is that there's too many pressures, there's too many people gossiping, there's too many things going on around your life personally and professionally that you can't move, you're stuck. So take what 
is going on in your life either it's something that you're doing to yourself constantly obsessively repeating a pattern that has you physically done or you are surrounded constantly by people who have thrown things at you within words jealousy you know that you know arguments that just are taking you down what i love about what comes after is the love the 11 11 card the four of wands this card represents stability foundation having a happy home a new home i feel like a lot of fire signs are looking to either do work in their house that they already have or um you know build out something new in their home re re redecorate interior design the, the creative sparks to redesign the house has been turned on or a move like either you're you're really taking time to decorate and move things around in your home that makes you feel um more at peace and calm or you're literally moving into a new home where you find that sense of peace and you could kind of you can move things around in a way that suits your you know and functions the way that you do the the temperance is my sagittarius card you know this is a very intuitive individual that always has their foot in on the earth and then the other one in water so you know the alchemist taking all the information that they've learned all the wisdom uh, and and mixing these things together in order for them to get back to the lovers partnerships and that doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship but the lovers more so than the two of cups represents more passion more you know yumminess in in relationships it could be that through your time um moving or being single or creating a whole new you know chapter in your life starting new this is another representation of my sag so sag is coming up a lot here um that you find love that you find love along the way that through the hardship through um the struggles through the last few years of you know whatever you've been going through 10 comes up again could be 10 years you know 10 years is coming up a lot in my readings for people who 10 is the end of a cycle who have been through so many of the same experiences and realizing this got to stop you know this this there has to be a new beginning like i said in the beginning when i first threw that card was like stepping into a whole new era with confidence based upon being at zero just love for yourself love with the community of people that you have um got it you know um created you know like we are all co-creating with the universe so this is a very powerful time to get to work with the people that um you can trust you feel like um at this point you know my fire signs know they're very um in touch with who they can trust and you know who can they help have helped them move forward with work after again another 10 geez yes again it's ending with love so and success at the bottom of the deck you know a loss this has been emotional loss someone leaving um due to a lot of experiences a lot of passion but being completely overwhelmed by them being completely burdened being completely you know at which end with all the responsibilities that need to 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 happen and take place but also knowing that i feel like you know i saw an aries like the their list of things to do is driving them absolutely crazy it's like gotta get to this gotta drop off that gotta sign this gotta look at this person take you know i see like a person that just like very active very on point but also very tired you know like and and having to like they're taking all of these wands with them at the end of a completion knowing 
that there's a lot of intuition um, behind all of their actions. It feels a little bit more like the confidence is there within the moves. So even though you're moving fast, you're moving effectively, people are listening, you're getting the job done. I do feel like there are new work opportunities coming for um, the fire signs. And again, love is coming because after being in your head about not having it, being some, you know, um, Saggies are known to, to be single for a long time and being happily single for a long time. But they're also known to want in relationship, be in a relationship for a really long time. But it takes a lot for a fire sign or specifically a Sagittarius to get there. It takes a lot of trust. It takes a lot of no nonsense bullshit. You know, a Sag can read bullshit a mile away. They can smell it and be like, I'm out. Like you walk in with some bullshit, a Sag is out the door. And I think anyone who is a Sagittarius or has that placement in their birth chart knows exactly what I'm talking about. But regardless of that, there's love. And it could be a love for self that you've never felt before, which I resonate with completely. I have been in a place and this is, you know, not for me, but you know, this reading I'm doing for you guys, if you want to book me again, you know, check the link. I can say that finding new love for yourself is going to bless your life in ways you've never imagined. But it does take leaving your fears behind, working with the fears, because you're never going to not be scared or not have fear about something. You know, fear is just an emotion that you got to work through. You know, like they say, that's the illusion that appears real. Like, you have success coming, you know, you have, you have people that <laughs> withhold a lot of information, um, try to steal your ideas, you know, um, learn to keep your, your ideas and your plans zip until absolutely necessary, you know? Learn to keep your plans quiet until they have unfolded, until they have manifested. Don't tell nobody shit. It's nobody's business except for you and, you know, your immediate family. Um, as long as, you know, again, and this goes with all the fires, all the elements, every single one of them, all the earth signs, all the water signs, all the air signs, all the fire signs. It all comes down to love and being kinder to yourself. You know, we are individually very hard on ourselves. And the message, the last message that's come up from my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius is, is creativity. Once we have creativity flowing through us, it constantly um, remembering that we can co-create with the universe, that we can create, whether it be, you know, artistic, music, writing, cooking no matter what it is once we tap into the love of creating you'll you'll have success you know and you'll be fearless you know you'll, you'll find a way to express that i think that the last thing i want to say about the fire signs is what i'm feeling here is that being in touch with the love that you have for yourself is going to lead you to expressing it to others in a nicer kind of way because you know um aries being the babies of the first of the fire signs can come off very blunt just like a sag and just like a leo but they're more like you know they have that side of them to be careless about it or rude or aggressive or you know that's like the dark negative side of a fire sign but I think that we're stepping into a time where we have to make a choice. So much of us are divided in this country and it's going to continue to be that way, feel that way. And the only way to um, get out of a situation of being stuck is to call your energy, call your power back to you, work through those fears, have the confidence to say what you need with love because if it comes off like you attacking, good luck. Good luck. Um, 
All right, that was my fire signs. The next and last element is the air. Those are my Geminis, my Libras, and my Aquarians. All right, I do insightful guidance readings, just so that you know. My readings, when I do them one-on-one -on -one with you, I work with the chakras, I work with the energy that's blocked, my tarot cards, confirm a lot of things and then we work through those blocks and we also i can give you insight on what else is going on within your energy and those close around you that's just to give you a little bit of uh, details on my readings they're a little bit different than your typical intuitive readings my my purpose is to help people move through their energy when I do Reiki, is that's also part of it. Um, all right, so here we go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's going on for the new moon energy in Scorpio for my Geminis, my Libras, and my Aquarians? Please and thank you. Wow, this is a very, oh, well, you got two. Um, you saw me shuffle. Nothing will come out of this situation. Adjustments are required. Once again, emotions are running high once again. And what do you need to release once again? Um, Collectively, I feel like we are all going through a transformation. Hello, Scorpio. New moon in Scorpio. Um, emotions are running high. Uh, I just got Aquarius. I don't know why Aquarius. And um, I'm dealing... Yeah, Gemini, Libras, and Aquarius. If your emotions are what's being displayed as your way of expression and communication nothing's going to come out of it you're going to be exactly in the same place high emotions period period boo. that's it you have to make an adjustment and take some time to breathe to meditate if you gotta cry cry right it's a form of release, you know, your body needs it. But at the same time, not the same time, but once you're done crying or feeling a certain emotional high emotions of things, you know, I like to, um, what do I say? Like, not to sage, but like brush my energy off. I do physical things to, to that action of physically taking the energy off of me helps me to move along throughout the day find you know you can book me and i will give you tips you know meditation i do guided meditation with people like i said chakra and reiki distant healing you know our emotions you know the heart is treacherous treacherous and desperate when our heart gets involved or it's always involved but we don't have control over it nothing comes out of the situation just more emotions and and obviously there's something here that needs to be released within all the elements i feel like that card came out for every single one of the elements um but now let's dig a little bit deeper on my gemini's Ooh, i feel a physical pain if the emotions are not checked hangman Five of Swords, yay, Sun, the Fool. <sighs> ah, I don't know if I want to take that, but the Five of Coins. Oh, love. Okay, so my Geminis, I don't know why I said Geminis. Well, because, <laughs> hello. Geminis, my Libras and Aquarius. I don't want it to be sign specific. If you want sign specific, again, book a personal reading. You have a new chapter, you have a new beginning coming. But it's not going to come with a moment of, shit, what do I do? The change comes again with 
emotions running high. That's my five of wands. You know, this is you having to let people know, nah, you can't get away with that. <laughs> you know, like, no, this is not going to be okay. Like, I'm going to speak up. I'm going to say what needs to be said. I'm going to just let you know that if this doesn't change, somebody is going to be starting from the beginning and left out. Somebody's going to just be like, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to find my happy. I feel like my air signs are like, don't mess with my peace. I'm fighting too hard or I have fought too hard for, for my peace. That's, that's what this is saying to me. And you get it. You get, you know, victory over some drama. And it feels a little bit, I don't want to say, it's not as important as you might think it is. I mean, it's important because it's got you involved and all up in your emotions and your emotions are high. But again, nothing is going to come out of it if you don't fight for your peace. Because regardless, um, someone is going to get left out in the cold. Is it going to be you or is it going to be that person? What's on the line is finances. So if that means that, you know, you take a loss, reconsider. Is it really worth taking this loss? I also see love and travel. So whatever you decide to release is going to bring about a partnership. It's going to bring about some travels. It's going to bring about some good shit. Um, I'm going to do another deck just because I need a little bit more information. I want to get nosy. Um, my Geminis, my Libra, and my Aquarius. Whatever partnerships that you form, whether it be in romance or business, it's going to be good. You just got to get out of your head. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. What is this heartbreak and this burden? A lot of it is your own thoughts, sorry, which is a good thing, right? Because you can control that. If it's somebody else, you will have justice. You will have a new beginning and you will have a lot of things falling here. A lot of cards just fell. My page of swords. You got a lot of pages here. I'm not going to read all these cards. No. But the one that's thrown, showing itself to me is the King of Cups. That's a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's love there. And it could be because you got the cups. So, you know, my air signs, you could find yourself being recovered from a heartbreak and a burdensome situation with a water sign or vice versa, you know, obviously, because this takes two. So my water signs can find an air sign that's gonna help them with their heartache or their family, their burdens and vice versa. You know, you guys are gonna come together and um, build a new again. Oh, and I got the queen of cups, I peeked. I was just like, no, let me look too many cards. The, that's a couple, there's a couple here, there's a couple in here, so um, I'm gonna, leave it there i'm gonna leave it there i do i did get another message that you know there's this water person here is studying you they're observing they are taking notes they are trying to check all the dots cover all the corners my water signs do not want to repeat anything from the past they are strong, hard, no. And it's taking them a long time to get there. But they, I feel it very strongly that this, these days, with the people that are immediately around them, over. 
Aquarians that came up, same thing. This is for the air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarians. There's something that's like a hard no here. A hard no. You guys will know what that is. There's an end of a way of thinking. This person is in agony. Also, watching themselves be in this agony. You know, calling out for help. But at the same time, it's there. It's right in front of them. They're, they're, they're not seeing that the support is right in front of them. You know, because they're too busy being in their emotions. And, and air signs are not really that. Not that they're not emotional because every sign is, but there's a little bit more because it's a it's an air sign, it's mental. They come across as very like, what are you talking about? I'm, I got this shit together. I'm good. What's wrong with you? And then later they're going in the closet somewhere in the room and they're like, oh my God. <laughs> what did I say? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it to come out like that. I meant this, you know? And then they got to backtrack. So again, it goes back to nothing will come out of the situation if the emotions aren't checked, if their plea for, for help is not being checked and getting to the sword of, of who they are, the queen of sword, you know, the 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 empress, get back to that, you know, because you have a water sign here that's going to be very, very um nurturing loving supporting the king of cups um final message for my gemini's my libras and my aquarius aquarians we're also stepping into the aquarian age oh so forgiveness intelligence and desires so um this goes back to checking those emotions, using your your intellect, your knowledge, being still being flexible with the information that you know, but also, you know, perceptive, but knowing that I, although I'm being flexible and although I know I've been through this disappointment, this heartache, um, this setback, I will forgive myself first, forgive yourself first, and then do the best that you can to forgive those around you that just don't know better on how to make your situation easier um because there's a lot of love to be had here i feel like my air signs are on this like precipice this trajectory of like once all of these emotions are cleared. I have communication that makes me understand where things are going. All the love and the desires and the passion and the fun really begins, you know? The fulfillment, the inner fulfillment really begins. But as of now, um, there's a lot of work to be done with the air signs in order for them to, to get to that place because it's coming, you know? The sun card is the best card out of the entire 78 card deck. Um, you know, you know, when those, when that comes out in the spread, it doesn't get any better than that. Um, but it doesn't, you know, of course it doesn't come with a lot of making a decision on who, who gets left out in the cold, who feels abandoned, who, who, who's done with suffering emotionally. Like a lot of this new moon energy and the eclipses that we had, you know, eclipses, don't give you a choice either something you know comes into your life and you have to readjust and make room for it or something is eclipsed out of your life where you're left with oh shit that is no longer part of my life and i have to adjust to that so whatever it is whatever 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 has been going on in your life it could be you know legal it could be medical it could be 
anything, you know, it could be a change of, of environment, work, I get more work, a lot of, lots of changes there, lots of changes in the work situation. Um, once those adjustments are, are made, I feel, and the forgiveness part, because I think that it's really important for you to forgive yourself. You can't move forward differently if you don't. If you're still carrying on to the guilt and the shame and you're in your thoughts and, 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 you're, and you're here, suffering, it's not going to work. But this message here says you got the sun card, you got the lovers, you got the king of cups, you got travel. It could be hot and sexy if you really want it. It could be hot. Your, your new life could be hot and 